Hello, everyone. Uh, this is a China Theological Exchange trip uh, organized by the Outro Foundation. This is Bing Wang. I go by Chris. I'm the China Mission Specialist uh, with the Outro Foundation. Uh, with me is uh, Reverend Dr. Kirk from Canada. Welcome to China. Is it your first time to be here I've in China? I've been to Hong Kong several times, uh -huh. but this is my first time to, to spend any China. time in mainland China. So okay. I thank you for yeah. the opportunity. It's yeah, been yeah. great. Mm -hmm. Our delegation has visited churches in uh, Shanghai metropolis, and now we are entering my home province, my home city. Actually, we are now standing on the ground of the church that I have been uh, I have served for several well, you're, years. You're very famous here, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy that the brother sister here, uh, some still recognize, recognize me. Yeah, you, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, you see, uh, this is the Dushu Lake, and that's why this church that I used to serve is named uh, Dushu Lake Church, and we have a cross there. Yeah. So, hey, uh, Kirk, yes. tell me something about, you know, what's your general impression of uh, this visit that we visited, you know, churches in Hong yeah. Kong and in Shanghai, and now in my home city, Suzhou. Yeah. What surprises you? What makes yeah, you happy? It's, sadly, sadly? it's been a very interesting trip. It's, uh -huh. it's been um, different than I expected. I think outside of China, we have an image of mm -hmm. uh, a patriotic church that really isn't very spiritual, mm -hmm. and an underground church that is heavily persecuted, and mm -hmm. you know, and it's it's much more complex than that. Yes, mm -hmm. and so it's it's been really interesting to see the depth and the complexity mm -hmm. of the family of God that is here in in both of the both of the church expressions. Mm -hmm. um, but what I've really appreciated. Mm -hmm. is that in both there are sincere followers of Jesus and and they are seeking after God and they are finding him and mm -hmm. he is meeting them in either expression of the church that's in China so it's mm -hmm. been good to learn more but it's been really encouraging mm -hmm. to see that God is at work and that people are coming to faith in Jesus Christ Kirk, we know that you have lots of mission and experiences in all of the world yeah so and you have seen the glorious and the great picture of God at work, God's Spirit at work in many continents and cultures and the countries. So what impressed you? So what, how can you see that God is at work in China through the churches of China? Well, I think that's, that's the encouraging thing. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what I appreciated about Outreach Foundation, mm -hmm. is that their approach is, what is God doing? Mm -hmm. Not what should we do on mission for God, yeah. but rather understanding what God is doing. So when we have had a chance to visit and talk mm -hmm. with uh, uh, you know, members of the body of Christ from mainland China, mm -hmm. we hear their stories of how God is moving in terms of church growth, how God is helping those that are interested in serving Him be mm -hmm. equipped for ministry, how um, people are being... Um, instruments of God's blessing in their community yeah and so I, I'm just grateful to be associated with an organization that's priority is mm -hmm. what's God doing yeah. and in our time here we have seen what God is doing and it's been encouraging mm -hmm. and I can't wait to go back and tell friends and other people that I know as I travel that there is a vital church in China Amen. and that mm -hmm. God is at work in China and then we can see if there's anything we can do mm -hmm to be part of what God is doing. Sure. So we're not here with an agenda, but uh, it's been great to see that there's opportunity to connect mm. and to serve into what God is doing here. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, you know, this words of encouragement and uh, with a humble spirit. And uh, uh, speaking of you know, listening to and hearing about stories and testimonies uh, from our Chinese brothers and sisters, I just want to remind you that we are going to have dinner with some brothers and sisters at the Dushu Lake Church and in this city. Uh, and I'm, I'm more than glad, I, I'm so honored that, you know, to introduce the brothers and sisters that I used to work with to, to you. And uh, we are going to have beautiful, delicious Suzhou Nis yeah, cuisine with them and hear about their stories, how we've, God is at work through their life. We've hardly yeah. had any food on this trip, have we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want fellowship mm -hmm. with brothers and sisters, mainland China is the place to come. They mm -hmm. will keep you fed. 
Yep. But your soul will be fed and your spirit will be fed. Mm -hmm. And that'll be a great blessing. Yeah. So we have delicious food. We have, uh, you know, powerful testimonies uh, from the people of God in China. And so stay tuned and uh, uh, look forward to uh, have more updates for you. God bless you.